I go to the movies. Yeah. And it, uh, it is something that I do from time to time if you haven't already caught on. So. <laughs> but this movie, I saw it at the Regal. And it stars the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And it is about the the two lady tennises. Tennis, tennisers. And they're the uh, Serena Williams and uh, Vanessa Williams. And they hit the tennis balls. But this movie is about their dad. And the movie, it is called King Richard the First. The movie. So, I guess it's weird for a movie to be about two famous uh, groundbreaking African-American female tennis players. But, uh, and, and the movie be about their dad. So, that's something that happened. <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, it was a pretty good movie, actually. It got me, it had, it had me have the emotions on the inside. It made you have the feelings. <laughs> and, uh, the movie, it was, uh, it was pretty good, you know? So, the dad is kind of an interesting character. He, like, made a plan for his daughters and all that. For the lives they were supposed to have. And, uh, it worked out. <laughs> Spoilers, you know. So, <laughs> so, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And then they, they showed, like, home footage at the end during the credits to be like, no, no, this is really what it was like. This, this guy, he started filming his kids with the VHS thing. He's like, I'm going to have him be tennis players. And then it shows him, like, hitting the, the tennis balls around and stuff like that when they were little kids. <laughs> it's interesting. I don't know if they changed some of this stuff to make it more like a movie or not, but it pretty much seems like that's the way it is. And it was kind of interesting, you know. I knew their names, and I knew they were good at, at hitting the tennis balls and stuff like that. But I didn't know anything about their lives and how they grew up and all that sort of stuff. So, <laughs> but it was pretty interesting, you know. And it really is kind of more about the family dynamics and about how the dad was like, you know, really trying to make sure... His family didn't go down the wrong path. That sort of thing. And it was about the relationship between him and his wife. All that sort of stuff. So. <laughs> it was kind of interesting, you know. And, like, the, all the weird... It's it's not... He's not necessarily a con man. <laughs> they don't portray him to be that way. But it is kind of obvious that... He's all about smooth-talking people, you know. He's a salesman, I guess you could say. He's really into verbally manipulating people, that sort of thing. So, that's going to happen. <laughs> He's pretty good at it, too. But you can tell that he loves his kids and stuff like that. So that's good. I think Will Smith did a really good job acting. I think all the... The people in it did a really good job. It's it's a good movie. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. And you know, there's since it's a sports uh, biopic or whatever, there's a, there's lots of tennis, lots of tennis in the movie. So, <laughs> if you like watching tennis, you might, of course I don't know tennis good enough to. I don't know tennis good enough to, like, know if what they were doing was good or right. But I thought it was exciting to watch in the movie. So. <laughs> ah. So. One thing. And it, it's a critique of the trailer. More than the movie. In the trailer, 
they do this thing where it's like Will Smith is crying. He's talking to one of the girls and he's like, you're going to represent every little black girl in the whole world. And the way the trailer's set up, it makes it seem like he's putting that on her. But in the movie, it's kind of the exact opposite. I'm not going to give it away. But it's him, you know, basically acknowledging that that's unfair for her to have to deal with that pressure. I won't talk about the circumstances involved with all that. <laughs> so really, that's a critique of the trailer. It's like, and I don't know anything about making trailers, but like maybe they haven't seen the whole movie. They just saw clips and like, oh, that's powerful. <laughs> like they, I don't know if the people making trailers know the context of scenes a lot of the times when they're doing stuff. But what you gonna do? <laughs> but I gotta say, Will Smith. He's a really good actor now. <laughs> he didn't, I mean, he, he disappears into this role. You know? It's not like, I mean, I'm looking at Will Smith, but it's Will Smith completely being a character, you know? Because he's got a, a specific way of talking in the movie. He's got a specific way of walking. Because the guy had, like, messed up feet or something like that. They kind of mentioned uh, and that sort of thing. So he's got a a certain way of dealing with with other people, you know. And it's like I totally it was like, oh, this is just this guy. <laughs> I was there were times when I was like, not even thinking that it was Will Smith. <laughs> so, but anyway, so I thought the movie was good. And, uh, yeah, so, but, as always, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter, and your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do, as a culture. No one knows why we do it, and we can't seem to stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so those are my thoughts and opinions. To be thrown on top of the pile... And soon buried by everybody else's. But for what it's worth, I liked it. <laughs>